It seems nowadays if it rains, it floods. It is a major issue in our area, and most standard homeowners insurance policies do not cover flood damage, which is why it is crucial for homeowners in flood hazard zones to get coverage. But what happens when FEMA tells you you're covered and then you get flooded and your claim is denied? Well, that's when you call Nina Pineda and get seven on your side. It was a powerful and destructive storm days before last Christmas. It just felt like a regular storm when it started, and then before you knew it, there's just water everywhere. The major flooding across four states dumped three feet of water inside Taiwan Mata's newly built Roselle home. So it got up to the top step? Yeah. And was it going in the house from this it way? It was, yeah. It, the water came inside here. Mm -hmm. He quickly filed a damage claim, hoping to get ahead of the mold and mildew in the drywall of his basement. Taiwan was relieved because two years ago, FEMA declared his home was in a special flood hazard area and eligible for a three-year group flood insurance policy. Did you even know that was a thing? No. So FEMA says, You're, here's some money. We're buying this policy for you. Yes, I felt comfortable. Taiwan was shocked when he got this letter from FEMA. Your claims denied because you're not in a flood zone. I felt like my house had fell on top of me. Now he was in a race against time, watching his investment rot from the rain. The social worker who's launching a brand new caregiving business could not afford the repairs. I don't have the money to pay it. He says his calls to FEMA to explain the flip-flop on flood coverage went nowhere. I don't know what to do, um, and I called seven on your side. Which is when we sent CHOP7 overhead and searched for Taiwan's home on FEMA's website. And there it is, right as rain, in the zone. And after about two weeks of meetings, the federal agency apologized, admitting its mistake, reinstated his flood insurance policy, and even cut him a check for that damage claim. Words can't express my appreciation. FEMA cut him a check for almost $6,000 and will review another damage claim for more. Thank you. You guys are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys. FEMA added that it's closely examining the need to implement safeguards to prevent similar occurrences like this one from happening again. In Roselle, Nina Pineda, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.